So you've built out a WooCommerce product, but it has some variations with different attributes. And you'd like to not only display some details about those attributes, but add a price to the attribute that differs from the others. Adding a price to an attribute can potentially increase the average order value, it can boost profits, and it allows you to simply provide your shoppers with more options. Sounds like some great reasons to do it, but how exactly do you add a price to an attribute in WooCommerce? The process of adding a price to an attribute and then adding swatches involves five simple steps. Downloading the plugin, creating attributes, displaying those attributes, and then adding a price to those attributes. We'll even go over how to add swatches to those attributes to improve your buyer's visual experience. Remember, you need to have WooCommerce already installed on your WordPress site before you begin. All right, so before we can add a price to an attribute, we need to download and install the WooCommerce Attribute Swatches WordPress plugin. Visit the iconic WP store to purchase and download the WooCommerce Attribute Swatches plugin. Once it's downloaded, head back on over to your WordPress dashboard. Go to Plugins, Add New, and then Upload Plugin. Browse your device, find the plugin's zip folder, and choose Activate when that upload is complete. When you purchase a plugin, you'll often get a license key. So after activating, go ahead and enter that license key right here. Next, we need to create a global product attribute in WooCommerce. Once we do that, we have something to which we apply our custom price. If you already have a product with attributes, go on ahead and skip to step four. Let's create a global product attribute. From your WordPress dashboard, go to products, then attributes. Choose the name to display to buyers. So for example, if the attribute describes sizes or colors, the name should be size or color, respectively. I want to sell flower pots that are made of different materials, so for that I'll use material. Then add the slug, which is optional, but it's a reference for the attribute. I'll use material for the slug here. And if you want this attribute to have product archives, select that option. And then choose one of these options as the default sort order. Make sure you choose the type of swatch you want to use. Now we can choose add attribute in order to create it and then save all of those settings. Once it's saved, it will appear on this table here on the right. You can add as many attributes as you like to apply to whatever products that you want. Choose configure terms from the terms column. Add the terms for the attribute here until you've added all of the options that you want your buyers to have. So for example, if your attribute is sizes, here's where you might wanna add small, medium, large, etc. We'll add terms for our flower pot options, plastic, terracotta, and ceramic. All right, now we need to display the attributes we made on the product page for buyers to see. The attribute exists, but WooCommerce doesn't know which product pages to opt for this attribute for. We're gonna change that by first going to products, then add new or edit an existing product. Find the product data section. Beside product data, you can select the dropdown and choose variable product. This is gonna change the product type to a variable option, which means you can add many more details to this product, including assigning it attributes. Choose attributes in the product data section, then choose the custom product attribute from the dropdown menu and select the attribute to display. Then add the terms that you created before. Select the values box to include the attributes values. Now, if this particular product is only available in some variations and not others, you can choose those for this one and others for another. It's important to choose the used for variations checkbox so that you can use these attributes for this product. Finally, choose save attributes and then update or publish your product. Now we can finally add a price to the attributes that we've created. This can either be a global or store-wide setting or per product. Let's learn the global option first. Go to products and then attributes and then configure terms. For the attribute term we wanna change, we need to choose edit. Then go to swatch options and type the price into this field that says fee and then save your changes once that's done. To do this on a per product basis instead, here's how. 
Go to Products, All Products, and choose to edit the product in question. In the Product Data section, choose the Attribute Swatches tab. Choose Fees underneath the attribute you want to change to expand that section. Then go ahead and insert the price into the Fees field. Publish or update to finalize those changes. And you're going to do this for each attribute value that gets a unique price. Even though we're done with adding a price to the attribute, this plugin also allows us to customize the attribute's features even further. With the Attribute Swatches feature, you can add visual indicators for variations, like colors, images, or text. This is going to be a global setting that applies to these attributes wherever they appear. To set a swatch, you'll need to have already created the product and its attributes. Go to Products, then Attributes. Choose the attribute to add a swatch to, and then choose Edit. Further on down the page, find Swatch Type. In this section, decide whether you'd like it to appear as a color, an image, a text swatch, or a radio button. Swatch shape provides a choice between round or square swatches. Swatch size lets you customize the dimensions of the swatches by width and height in pixels. Enabling tooltips provides a text description upon hover. Display the swatches on the product catalog by enabling this option. Determine to show swatches in filters, and a lot more. Explore these options to determine what styles you want. Once settings have been set, choose Add Attribute if you're making a new one, or Update if it's a previously made one. On the Attributes page, choose Configure Terms in the Attribute table. Now, choose and edit each attribute and add either image or color swatches based on what we just built out. So for the flower pot product, I can display the type of material along with that attribute's custom price and a swatch for it. Keep in mind, you can also edit and create swatches on a per product basis here in the attribute swatches tab. Here's what my product looked like before, and here's what it looks like now with all of its attributes, fees, and swatches added. Now you know how to create attributes in WooCommerce add a price to an attribute, and how to customize that attribute visually with swatches. Visit the iconic WP product store to download the WooCommerce Attributes Swatches WordPress plugin, as well as our other collection of WordPress plugins for WooCommerce. If reading is more your thing, check out this blog post on adding a price to an attribute in WooCommerce in the tutorial section of the iconic WP blog. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments of this video and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on how to build with WooCommerce and Iconic WP.